Yo guys, Master Markov here, and welcome to another Steam One Shot with Neo Cab. This is unfortunately just a demo for it, but I saw this at LooterCon for Steam, and I really love the graphic style. It's something of like a Telltale's Batman series kind of style mixed with. Honestly, it, it's it's really 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 nice, and I just loved it, and I had to try out the demo for it. And since it looked like a slightly futuristic Uber driver, I mean, how could you not go for that? There comes a point in any long drive where your mind goes a little off the road. It's like the flashing lines in the highway hypnotize you in some weird way. Like it's normal to talk to the clouds. Or come up with a name for the hundredth Joshua tree you pass in this endless desert. I was officially at that point, and so was Jojo! Only 40 miles to go. To Los Ojos, to my new life, to my oldest friend. It was like a gift when Savvy called me last week. My life was going nowhere fast, and she knew it. it used to be her life, too. Losing jobs to Cap Brazil. Juggling a dozen gigs and still coming up short. Getting way too comfortable, just being sad. So when she offered to be roomies again, this time at her place in the big city, it didn't matter anymore what had come between us, or what we'd said when we were angry. All that matters was the road ahead. That and the battery charges that had set me back 30 coin. Nothing like rolling into your new life completely broke. No problem, no problem. This is cool, cool, cool. You're a driver. Just drive. If I could pick up even one ride out here, I'd be in a better place. Maybe even get a fancy here's to us cocktail with savvy like old times. Excuse me? Excuse me? I started up Neo. Wait, 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 wait. Did we get off the Oh, this is still cutscene. I am so, I was so confused. I was like, why did we stop? Did my mouse just turn? Oh. Huh. Well, we gotta pick a request. Okay. Where we got it? Combine. Guessing them? Sure. Do we actually have to drive? Do we literally have to drive? Uh, for a second, I thought maybe Leon has put his pin in the wrong place. This didn't feel like a convenient pickup spot for anyone. I could barely make him out at first. All I saw was desert and dusk. I feel like that'd make it easier to spot. And I spotted him, a lone figure, dragging what looked like a huge luggage or a small... Well, I don't know what this said. Got to the car bags fast and squeezed in. Well, he was like a sidekick. Hey. Uh... Hi. Pickup for Liam? Liam, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, I can feel his anxiety creeping up from the back seat. Can't help it. I absorb that stuff like a sponge. <laughs> yes, thank God. Yes, okay. Sorry about that. Oh man, what's going on? I thought I spent all day out there in the desert, taking photos of the stars and the yellow skyline. I thought I'd lost my memory card. Bastard smaller than a grain of rice. Why do they keep making them smaller? Damn, my heart's racing. His accent was smooth and musical, but I couldn't quite place it. Definitely not Southern California. Oh, that is not my accent. Anyway, hello, Lena. Yep, that's me. I'm Lena. Awesome. Thanks for picking me up all the way out here. Nowheresville. <laughs> no problem. I was headed this way anyways. Plus, Neo Cab goes where Capra fears to tread. Where are you coming from? Cactus Flats. I don't know that one. Going to the big city on holiday? More like a permanent vacation. This car's carrying my whole life right now. I'm moving. Moving? That's huge. How are you feeling? I don't know. I think I'm... Honestly, I don't know what to feel. Never been 
to Los Ojos before. Stop it. This is your first time in a top automation city? Is that crazy? No, I mean, yes. Moving somewhere you've never visited. Good damn, <laughs> it's also very cool. Don't sweat it, it's mine too. Though, I'm just visiting. For work? Sort of. I'm a photographer, or at least trying to be. I'm taking a year off from my real job to see what I can make happen. Ah, a year to travel the world and take pictures. Instead, she met a guy, a sculptor, and lived that dream with him. <laughs> they broke up after a screaming fight in Milan. She came home with a half-finished clay figure of herself. She always loved playing the muse. So, what about you? Why L.O.? I'm moving in with my best friend. Actually, I haven't seen her in ages. We used to be super close, and then we kind of weren't. Fill your secrets when you're only making eye contact with the road in front of you. For sure. I moved a lot. UK, France, Canada, now here. Sort of fading in and out of different friend groups, maintaining most of my relationships online. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So why now? Why'd you make the leap? She asked. <laughs> All she ever had to do was ask. I just realized that my life isn't as good without her in it. I love that. Sometimes it's just the only thing that makes sense, right? Exactly. It'll be a fresh start for us. I hope. This is photography thing is sort of my fresh start. So, while you're getting the keys to your new place tonight, I'll probably be out snapping pictures of Capper Tower. Oh, gross. Doing cover for Multinational Monster Magazine. Hey, whoa, it's just a beautiful building. Yeah, you could afford beautiful buildings when you have a monopoly over basically the entire tech sector. The spoils of selling out human dignity, right? He should have his seat and try to smile, but it was tight, uncomfortable. Capper. And then carried so much baggage for me. My first driving gig, my only income stream. For they replace me and every other driver with auto cars, soulless capsules of glass and plastic. But hey, those things don't even need health insurance. I tend to stop seeing their logo, which was all over the place. Turns out, once your cars are cruising every city like a virus, you've got a pretty good setup to collect data on everything and everyone. Even a peaceful nice guy like Liam. Just saying the name had my heart pounding in my ears. Right, you're not a fan. We don't need to get into it. I kind of want to, to be honest. I feel like all the energy in the car had flipped. He was closed off, suddenly cold. Exactly why everyone says that talking politics with the PAX is the quickest way to tank your star rating. Oh no! Oh shoot, I should have been thinking about my star rating! My 4.9 rating def definitely didn't push with him. Um. Oh no! 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 Can I? Uh, ah, this is hard. Uh. Of course, you're right. I didn't mean to be so snarky. Oh, thank God! They actually said something I want to say in these games. What happened into me? The hackles were up and over what? The photographer just wanted a picture of a famously impressive building. Exactly what happened with me and Savvy. I got all emotional over something that wasn't really a big deal, but I pushed her away. Volatile, Lena. Like I'm looking for reasons to be sad or worried. Like all my bad feelings just leapt out of me and poisoned my life. When actually, everything was just fine. I couldn't let that happen again with us. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm still couldn't bring myself to praise Capra, even if I might help with my star rating. Oh. I guess I'm biased. 
kind of got a history with that whole company. It's all good. I just don't want to talk about it. I get there's a lot of baggage attack to LO. Trust me, I really do. But I'm not here to pick it up. Well, you seem to have a big enough pack for it. This week for once, I'm just a Taurus. I totally get it. But if I wanted to sign a ride with a brainless driver, I'd have called a Capra. You're much more fun. As the sun went down, you could just make out the first lights of LO appearing out of the desert, suddenly like a mirage. We were almost there. <gasps> Viva Las Vegas! Ooh, I'm feeling the tech city now! Ooh, this is looking like Borderlands 3 in here. See the light spilled across the windshield as you crossed the Los Ojo city limits. Pulled out his camera and I heard the shutter clicking away behind me. Hmm. I thought about Savvy. Let's do that. No more nights alone. No more longing for change. I was making the change. And I was ready. Here I am, Savvy. It's real. I did it. I pulled up at Liam's destination. A modest hotel. Nice, but, oh. You know this is going to be great, right? You're doing something really big, and I think it's going to pay off. Thanks. And again, sorry for being so testy before. I'm in a capper town now, and that's that. It's nothing. I've gotten into my share of arguments with cab drivers before. You have? Yeah, with much worse opinions. And listen, I know you've already got a friend in town. I'll be crisscrossing town in cabs all week. Maybe we'll get paired up again. I'd like that. Shouldering his luggage, he headed into his hotel, waving at me as he disappeared through the door. I waved back. <laughs> I guess I'd made it. Uh, my energy in my car doesn't seem like it is. Hey, he gave me five stars! A s s serendipitous driver with a serendipitous ride with a spirited driver. Welcome to L.O. Your rating stayed the same. Hey, you said it was 4.9! Dang nab nit! Ooh, riding fair driving rating bonus. Ooh. Uh, yeah. See, here's the thing. Message from Savvy. Well, let's look at this. Best sponsoring is in the home stretch. What's good, Lena? Oh, you know I gotta say this. Bad news. Went back to Cactus Flasks. Send. Oh my God, no! What happened? Nah. I chickened out. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you are the worst. Hey! Meet you at your place? What kind of emoji is that? You mean our new place? Wow. I don't think I want my own face as like GIFs. I really don't. After seeing that, I really don't think I would want my own face as a GIF. <laughs> yep. Wait, actually. Come pick me up. Send you a pin. Uh. Yo. But like this though. Damn my curiosity! Yeah, yeah, I just got up in a rope work thing. No prob, I got you! I got you, homie! Yo, I wish I had an Uber driver friend that could just pick me up. Wait, then again, they charge! Shoot! Can't believe I gotta see you so soon. My rave fave, my literal favorite human. Oh my fucker! Can't wait, Savius. Um, 
I feel like my car needs a little bit of juice, though. Please tell me I'm gonna actually get maybe some energy, please? Like, how long has it been since I've seen Savvy? Six months? No, a year. Didn't seem possible. Some days it was easy to feel like she was still around, but everywhere I went in Cactus Flats, it was soaked through with memories. Most days she made me miss her even more. Nobody gets me like she does. She, like, really gets me. Being around her made me feel more like myself. Or if maybe just made me like it more. I saw her up ahead and my stomach flipped. Oh yeah, your, your expression really, really says flip stomach right now, uh-huh. Uh, wow, look at how excited you are! L Bunny! Chuckle, chuckle, chuckle. Savviest. What was I gonna do, smile if I didn't send that? Uh... Nah, let's go. You sure you wanna sit back there? Yep, I'm trying to get that authentic private driver experience, you know? Honestly, I f just feel safer back here. You're the only reason I would get into one of these things. Oh my god, did you actually get prettier somehow? Damn, girl! Aw, oh, come on. Whatever you've been up to, it is working. God, seeing you again is like... It's like home, you know? Me too. Sorry, could we... Let's talk more room, room. Being this close to Cap Race, you creeps me out. Yeah, I thought it was weird you wanted to meet me here. It's downtown, it's a giant eyesore, you know? It seemed easy for you to find. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Capra. Exactly. Huh. What a dynamic. I... Uh, so... Don't have light like this back in flats, right? The way you left things echoed in my mind. Heat rushed into my cheeks. As I turned red, my chest tightened and fluttered like I couldn't get enough air. Is this... Love? I'd called her selfish and cried until I couldn't breathe. Right before I begged her not to leave. Was that what she was thinking about too? I'm sorry about we, how we left things. I just wanted to say... Ancient history, whatever, forget about it. Ooh. Well, what have you been up to? Tell me everything. Give me all them juicy deets! Well, I kind of bounced around for a while. The guy who said I would crash with him and his roommates. Definitely remember how he always called me Lisa. Turned out his roommates were more like parents. They're super sweet and their place was nice as fuck, but oh my god, so clean. But his mom gave us matching sweaters for Christmas. I swear I felt myself shrivel into a little ghost right then and there over the eggnog. Yikes. Very. Compared to a perfect family time, social activists, okay. Just some fuggies too afraid to their own shadow to show to really affect change. Uh, speaking of, I can't believe we're back in your old Steery. This thing knows all of my secrets. And you know I love retro as much as the next girl, but would you mind parking at the little street, a little down the street from my place? People would get really weird if they thought I was a pro car. This is a big issue in my work right now, you know? Are you anti-car? Well, based on what she said, I was just like, oh, sure, okay, but wait. Where are we going? What's your address? Oh, yeah, pull over. You live here? No, I just remembered. I got you a present. Yep, I'll pull over. <laughs> oh man, but I didn't get her anything. No, 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 no. Close your eyes and hold out your right hand. Why just my right hand? This feels the very weird. No, I'm like, oh. <laughs> that was like three years ago. And yet it still haunts my dreams. 
rest in peace, little caterpillar. I forgot how tiny your hands were. But how they were always so cool. Why are your fingers freezing in the middle of the desert? How'd you do this? Must be the ice in my veins. This is always writing about it. Who's Jace? So, uh, she slipped something in a towel and my arm. If you're not gonna shut your eyes, at least stop fidgeting. Tighten to a snug fit around my wrist. Oh, it's a Fitbit! Ah! I got a fit bit now. Whoa. I should say, what is it? What is it? It's a feel grid. It's six gen. Oh, how are you supposed to read that? Color and intensity show your mood. Basically, the way you feel in your body at the exact moment. Here, yellow, which means you're feeling positive. How could I get green like you know? Probably because of my awesome gift. Just like, meh, does it tell time? <laughs> I got the necklace edition. Feels so good. We can both have like total awareness of our emotional well being. You know, take care of each other and all that junk. Aw, Savius. I couldn't read the rest of that. Exactly. How come exactly so hard? So you're reading my brainwaves? Nah, I read blood. <laughs> Did it have to be blood? That is dope. Fucking science, am I right? Everything we feel is because our brain has triggered some chemical to flood our system, right? So this is a little sensor that reads all the molecules as they go surfing through your tubes. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go... Ew. <laughs> I hope that's in a good way. See? Just the most red. You just got a little freaked out. What? Oh, wait, hold up. That's not what I meant. There are four basic colors. Red. Oh, God. Yellow is sunny and happy. Green is chill. Blue is blue. Uh, I don't know. I thought it'd be really cool for you to see colors. People could be so fake, you know? Better I know what the feel good. It's like an emotional superpower. You real is like... Oh god, you left not talking for months. She knew me so well. She didn't even see how I'd gone off on Liam just now. Hey, I'm trying to work on my emotional superpowers, just so you know. <laughs> I get it. This just lets you know that when your feelings are real. Plus now you've, when your packs are giving too much shit too blue and you probably need to take a break. Too red, then you gotta stand up for yourself, okay? <laughs> Otherwise, it'll explode. <laughs> no, you might. And I've seen what that looks like. This thing tells people when you're pissing off so you don't have to. I know confrontation is more my thing, but as you can see, I'm surfing a chill green wave at the moment. Chill as a cucumber. Lena, you're saying it wrong. What? What's it supposed to be? Cool. Cool as a cucumber. Oh my god, I miss you. Damn, they even try to remember it. Like, cucumbers are served chill. Well, I miss you too, lady. See? Now I know that you happy and not, like, pissed at me. I'm totally pissed. <laughs> okay, but I'm being serious. It's not a big deal. But the way we fought when I left. Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh. That's not good. I wasn't trying to hurt you. I know. Uh oh. Oh, dang. We're gonna have a color fight right now. Mm. But you do feel things. A lot, actually. Which is something I really love about you. Heart is so amazing, and the way you feel that. Didn't you just. What? It's kind of beautiful. Just keep me wet. Bottling all that up doesn't make it go away. And when it 
all comes out, it's kind of intense, like that night. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm here, and you're here, and we're starting over. chest would pass. What do you mean? And we're good, right? Hell yes. Oh, okay. This is weird. You're in sick again. You could always talk about serious stuff later. Savvy and I had all the time in the world now. So, how do we get to your place? My pajamas are calling my name. Oh shit, I'm really sorry, but can you take me somewhere else really quick first? Not with this red in the car! Sure, where are you going? Well, I need you to drop me off, actually. It's this guy, and trust me, it's kind of a huge mess. You don't want to know. Oh. Let me ask, is everything okay? Totally, totally. Just ki kind of, kind of. I, I don't know. I kind of fucked up at work, and I just gotta go fix it before shit comes down on my head. Ooh, you feeling real blue. I should go straight to this awesome ramen shop. You're gonna love instead of helping my dumbass. It's a little embarrassing. Please, say no more. You're the best. I mean it. Well, right back at you. He lives in this totally weird rich person dorm called Kinfolk. The place is crawling with tacky scum. So what do you have to do? She rubbed her knees together. She always did that when she was feeling uncomfortable. I wonder if she knew that. He's a good client, and I ran off my big mouth and pissed him off. So now I gotta go kiss, go ass kiss a little, give the baby his bottle. This is dying to get into this club, and tonight I could actually make it happen. But you should totally come meet up with me and Chase later. You could just pick up another ride, right? Who knows? Maybe there'd be some cutie who wants to show you around L.O. to a club right now? Oh, her eyes are shifting. Yeah, DJ's there. I, I bet you'll really like him. I could try and get you on a list. Let me just text Jace. Ooh. Well, then, what will this do? What will this do? What will this do? What will this do? Will this make me mad? I think I need to say something. <coughs> I kind of just want to hang out with you. You will soon. So how long have you been with him? Guess cool. Okay, he says he'll text you all the deets soon. Great, I'll just wait for the deets. I gotta just do this thing. Then you should head over. So when... Okay, this is it. Kinfolk. Are you just gonna tell me every single time I'm right at the place that this is the place? Th thank you. Th thanks. Thanks. I like how this text bubble goes on for a while. I'll text you in like an hour. Tops. Okay? Then come meet us. Sounds good. See you soon, Rumi. Welcome to LO. And remember, pick up a cute kid. Oh, God. I watched her bounce up the illuminated steps and vanish into a soaring apartment tower. Half spacecraft, half oh, God. What was this place? Kappa cars buzzed around me like I was inside some kind of nest. A few of the people inside gave my car a definite look from behind their tinted windows. And they were right. Oh god, I'm turning red! I wasn't supposed to be here. I was supposed to be with Savvy. And even for her. Uh... This was a little much. Uh-oh. Just a detour anyway. I do one more right there at some point. Things just have a way of being spontaneous with Savvy. I was never as happy as I'd been when she was, oh god, 
All right. How am I gonna do this? Look at my energy, though. All right. How you feeling? All right. This is my emotional state. Let's get started. Intense in a good way. Your feel grade also measures the intensity of your emotions in three levels: low, medium, and high. The more your feel grid lights up, the more intense your feelings. Got it. The circumplex, fancy science term. This map represents the full spectrum of your emotions. Yes, even the icky ones. Each segment is a unique state. So even when you may feel like a jumble of emotions, your feel grid will let you know which one you're exactly experiencing, even if it's a little unpleasant. Oh, okay. So this is when you get mad. This is depressed. Okay, so you want to be on this side. You want to be calm and chill or hyper and cheerful. Okay. Uh, nice. Notice how you think and react when you're in each color. And you feel good is simply to illuminate the feelings in your body, so you can tune your own emotional awareness. Ooh, there's no such thing as a bad emotion, really. Just remember the dark outer edges of the map are more intense feelings, with the lighter shades in the center are more mellow. Groovy. One last thing. All emotions are valid. The outer limits of feel grid are meant to tell you something. Like, it's time to take a break, take a nap, or even just take a moment to, s to center. Take a deep breath, and good luck out there. Job done. You are in the red. You may be feeling angry, fear, or disgust. <laughs> Not FDA approved! When your heart rate is elevated, you may have symptoms of tension, such as headaches, jaw clenching, or stomach pains. You likely... Have deep full focusing, experiencing forgetfulness and poor judgment. Try to take deep, slow breath and avoid spiraling into negative thinking. Cool beans. Yeah, no, no, this isn't what I meant. Oh god, it's like an app. Yeah, okay, home. Yo, what? Man, how do I? Okay, so, journal. Oh, jeez, we'll send you the deets. So over it, and you're awesome. <laughs> Okay, moving costs. I spent 33 bucks. Woo! What the heck is the last entry? Oh, excite, so excite, very excite. Yeah, I'm the car driver in Cactus Festival. Oh, look out, oh, 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 here I come. That's awesome. All right, well, let's head back. Um, wow, we have surprisingly only one ride. All right. So, we have got to go here first. I don't care. Who you guys me we go here and we just fill up? We don't actually need to... My car was at zero bars when I pulled up to the juice station. Definitely time for a recharge. It cost me one thirty-two per bar. A little steep, but here I was. A questione! Oh shoot! I don't. Do I want two bars? No, I don't want a single bar. I want that full charge. Well, yeah, I want that full charge, just in case. I charged this and got back on the road. No offense, that's rather low. And I can handle that. Let's check. Wow, we legit actually just go all around me are familiar faces worn out places holy jesus all right this is turning into some watch dogs gta infamous 2 bitch what the heck is this what is that or is that a is that a guy founder and chief okay Ali Breen. Said so pick up a hot guy. Nah. Well, see, let's go high stars. You got five. You got five. But you got that many. First thing, right, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then they win. I want to do this guy, but this is a bad idea. You're going to be mad. Putting a gentler death in you know what? Yeah, let's do that guy. Yeah, let's do this guy. Let's see what's up. Steve District. Who named this? Don't say Steve. Glowing holographic arc. Welcome me to the Steve District. 
Cartoon bots bounced around the words science, technology, endeavor, and virtual entertainment. Oh! Steve District! <laughs> okay! Sorry to ask, but we need a favor at school. My pin is in the wrong place. Ew. Should you pull up to the corner instead and we'll hop in? Seems fastest. Great. Not doing what the packs wanted could hurt my star rating. Pulling over an AV zone risk a stop by the LOPD. Not to mention a ticket that would send me back some serious coin. Oh no! Listen, if I get a ticket, I'm screwed! But I'm angry right now! It's dumb, it's dumb, it's dumb! Mm, clean my crap for loading zone! God dang it! Headlights hit one of the cars and it froze in that weird too fast AV thing. Almost like being scared. Almost like they weren't the thing to actually be afraid of. Oh, come on, come on, man! Let's just try this. It's gonna be a maze blaze. You just say, never mind, whatever. Hey, what's up? Uh, where to? I'm telling you, this is totally authentic way to experience those homes. It's like a sommelier of the urban map. Oh boy, a mobile concierge. If you say so, legal parking today. Good parking said yes. I hope I've gotten away with my legal stuff this time. My cop car snap a shot? Mm. Ha! <laughs> Actually, the mobile concierge services are extra. Hey, she's feisty. That's funny. I like it. Don't call women feisty. The fire. <laughs> I love it. Driver, my name is Anthony, and this here is Risa. We're on a first date, and we're going to benefit from your totally authentic perspective as, like, the soul of Los Angeles. Got any personal insights? Where does someone like you go for, say, a great drink? Uh oh. <laughs> what kind of stuff are you into? Boutique experiences. We all go like off the beaten path, but like also kind of deconstructed and possibly spiritual. This is your fun, surprising date idea. Get neocab. Just so you know, Risa shared with me that she has some boundaries around human drivers. No, all I said was safety. I just... She's more of an auto car person, you know? So don't take it personally. She's kind of a nervous burger. Hey, that's not... Can you just tell her to take us someplace with drinks, please? Uh... I've been doing this a while. Don't worry. See? The calm, collective confidence of a pro. So, where are you taking us? Ooh. Let's do this one. I'm meeting my friend at a club reader, but she hasn't told me the name. Damn. She's going to text me later. Ah, okay, cool. No, that's okay. Totally get that. Risa. What were you suggesting earlier? I said we should go to Hackadilly Circus Place? Rather than Palantir's trashy. Oh god. At least like it is. You got it. So. Your profile said you run a tech incubator. Yeah, but I don't like to say I run it, you know? See, I just operate it. It sounds really a hierarchical. Everyone's ideas matter. We created that my have. Oh. Right, you're in tech too. Yeah, I don't like to say I created any of it. I take in all the ideas from the team, then we see what emerges. It's like a birth. Oh. I'm sure you can relate. Oh! The air was getting thick. Never a good sign on a date. Uh, 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 break that silence, lady! I had to break the silence. So how'd you two meet? Uh, the usual. Like her profile, meet cute. Reese's a maze blaze lady kicking butt and making software. Well, I'm an AI trainer. I'll make machines. You're making machines. You can do that with machines, whereas you can't with, say, human drivers, as recent events have demonstrated. 
gives her thanks that she was the one in charge of raiding for this drive. Totally, totally. What? Do you follow the bottle account and cap her billboards? I mean, I see them, but is really the best place to talk about all that? Because the human driver, you mean? She's just trying to drive the car without murdering anyone. And you're treating her like your personal shopper or whatever. I have to admit, I appreciate you saying the personal shopper part. Wow. You got a lot of negativity from your ride cab, Risa. Human drivers kill people, do they not? Bad vibes. I'm just trying to be realistic. Some asshole drove his car through a block party and lose road. A car just like this one. Was anyone hurt? Killed 15 people doing Ello's ballet prima ballerina. They've been trying to ram all this anti-car legislation through here for years. This is bigger than most Ojos, though. If the law goes around, we grow into an international movement. And technically it's not even like a law yet, it's a bill. Sophie's bill. <laughs> like she's a duck. Wait, wait. Am I going to be out of a job? No, 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 no. That's a myth. Automation doesn't take jobs away, it just kind of shifts them. You mean displacement? This one is a good driver. She'll be fine. The auto car economy will create opportunities for people like her. This one, people like her, wow, like, wow. There are just such harsh places to go on a date. Are you okay? I'm fine. I don't have a problem with emotional subjects. Not you. I was doing a check-in with our driver. Fine. See? Here's driver who understands safety for all is not a threat to her future livelihood. I just feel like we need a backup flipping reverse. Backup flipping reverse it. All right, okay, I, just, I got you, I got you, I get you, man. This person is a compassionate professional. You're wielding your tech industry privilege to silence her. Uh, he's mocking me. Sorry. Wait, wait. No, wait. Hold on. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. I accidentally clicked the wrong one! Oh, God. Driver has a name. Oh, you remember it? Yes, it's... Oh, shit! Say the wrong name. Christina. Right, Christina. <laughs> she said her name is Lena, and you totally forgot. You erased her personhood. Thank you for existing, Lena. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> You're being a condescending jerk. Uh, shoot. They both are. They both are, though. Oh, ah, shoot. Both of you suck, and you suck together. Lena and I have a connection, right, Lena? I should say nope. Like, uh, shit, shit, shit. Uh, oh, fuck. Nope. Damn, 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 damn. People have all kinds of opinions on drivers. I can handle it. But like, she's traveling her personhood with all this negativity. I don't think I'm the one who's getting on her nerves. Both of you are getting on my nerves! You're solely speaking over her right now. You're speaking for her. It's kind of murder, if you think about it. Flip that back into red! Hold up, take that back! Oh god, can you kick him out of the car or something so he leaves us alone? No, no. He's the account holder, so technically it's his ride. How much does that matter? I think it's only reason really matters to my rating. Oh, come on! You don't say that! I can help you with that. Uh, uh, I knew it cost this to should be put up with a lot so far. Oh, what am I even? There's no good. But what about drinks? Listen, dude. Don't you dare pull over. Don't you dare pull over. It's clearly not happening. It just wasn't meant to be. This is ridiculous. 
I admit this feeling feels like some kind of human driver perk. It's been an authentic experience, Anthony. Don't forget to take your vibes with you, buddy. So thanks for that. Look, I'm sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable with all that auto talk, auto car stuff. Not is red. Oh, thank God! It's okay. Neocab is for everyone. I get it. Thanks. Sometimes I get opinionated when it's an issue I care about. Actually, me too. Would you look at that? We're at Piccadilly Circus. Where you wanted to go all along. All's well that ends well, I say. I owe you one for helping me out with that guy. Would you like to join me for a drink? My face flushed hot. I wish I could, but I'm meeting my friends soon. Well, maybe another night. This was interesting. And I promise to give you five stars next time. If you promise to drive me just around the block, she opened the door slowly, as if it might collapse at any second. It's positive. I couldn't help thinking it was kind of cute. Guess I should pick up rope again and fix my star rating. Ah, uh, what did I get though? Shoot. For the demo, this sucks. If this was a full game, I'd so do. Oh no! Holy Jesus! Deactivation! I could lose. No, 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 no. See, see, um, listen, 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 listen. You forgot my name, but that's fine. Just, uh, I'm in the fire star right now. As I turn the corner, I saw the car. Oh, crap. They're yelling, barking things at each other. At the car. If you were taking swings at each other, the auto car means dozens of tiny rapid fire turns trying to free itself from the circle. That was a moth trap between window panes. And another sound. Is that my back door? What the hell? I need to get out of here. I need to go. I'll pay. Listen, I'll explain. We need to go. You're a Neocab, right? I'm... You drive people. We need to go. I cannot be here. Uh... Let's just take a breath. My pulse raced in my ears, so I couldn't think straight. No! Do this! Grit my teeth! I was way too angry! Don't you dare! Come on! Come on! Damn you! What the hell are you doing in my car? I guess the rating doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Alright, you go through Neocab. You don't just open my door without asking. Look, I'm sorry, seriously, but that's my fucking bike under the wheels right there. I nearly died. If you don't get out of here now, the cops will be here and my life will actually be over. I can explain everything, but first, you need to put some distance between us and that mob. Uh, I clutched my hands at the wheel. No way I was a. No! Come on! No! You know what? No. If the cops are coming, that's your issue. And stop telling me what to do from the backseat of my own car. With the silence of attention fill the space. I was in! I was in right when I started this! Gah! The packs look so scared. The mob of stuff is getting worse. Hey! You gotta panic eyes! I see you. Do you see me? I can usually get a read on a person the first time I see the face. Instead, I called it my truth download. Not like she's ever listened to what I was talk when I was about someone she wanted to date. I need to be calm to hear that little voice inside my head. And Pax had me all right up. I met their eyes in the rear mirror. And it worked. It was as clear as if they were saying it out loud. I knew they were sorry. They were safe. They were just trying to survive. Like me. Rid your teeth, woman! And get out of the red! You're the sort of person who feels sorry for people. 
please take one second to see me asking for your help and drive. I held it. Stop fucking. Oh, okay. Oh, I keep accidentally pressing buttons. Oh, thank God it was the right one. Channel off of my feel good cat. Oh, thank God. We're wearing one of those feel things. It looks like we're cool. We're cool. That's not cool! You better go, lady! And I just parked in a legal zone. No. Oh, no. I got us out there and the time. Squad cars rolled up and bike punks scrambled into the night. Oh, boy! So, what's your name? Ah, I'm Azul. Ow, why does the adrenaline ever have to wear off? This shit hurts. I'm Lena. Where are we going? Take me. Shit, I need to get to work. I work at this club in News Roos. It's not too far. I'm. Shit, ow. Are you okay? I'm. I'm bleeding. Oh no, can I help? Can you give me stitches and antibiotics? No? Is it that bad? No, forget it. I'm just rattled. Thank you for asking. I got hit by a capper. I was on my bike. It came out of nowhere, sideswiped me, then it just kept driving. Right over my fucking bike. Did you get the plate number? Shit! No, I didn't. Don't bother going back, though. Forget it. And all those people just showed up? No, no. I called a erratic swarm. Uh... What's a erratic swarm? You know who Radix is, right? It sounds like they hate Capra. So does anyone with a brain, right? We're activists. We stand up against corporate entities like this. Radix is all about direct action to change city for the people. Getting rid of cars? That's just the seed. What grows from that are safer streets, public transit that works, a big chunk bitten out of the luxury market. Most people just see us as punks on bikes, but most people are blind. Sounds like important work. <laughs> it really is. Okay, I don't do it to make people happy. Especially not drivers. Hey! It's about building our own community. You're a member of Radix, and you're in trouble. Like if you get hit by a fucking Capra. I'll send up a flare on the app to call a radix squad. The alerts the other members. Show them where you are. Tells them you need help. Radix has an app. All I can feel were good vibes. What? So that was help. Doesn't seem like it did much for you if you're here with me. I just got crazy. I don't know. I didn't expect that. Is it your first time calling a swarm? Yeah. But it's like, I don't know. It's not supposed to be like that. What's it supposed to be like? I don't know. I thought they'd save me, but it was like they showed up to fuck up the Capra car. Well, nobody tried to get my bike or whatever. One dude helped me up, but like, the second I said I was okay, didn't matter anymore. I gotta say I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That sucks. Yeah. I'll get you where you need to go. That makes it even worse. Why do you say that? Because it's still a fucking car. You're still putting people at risk every day. Plus, I shouldn't be riding around in death machine in front of erratics. Getting out of there was the right idea. Do you think they saw me get in? Nah. They seem pretty focused on the car. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I can feel them relax. Just a little. 
Woo! What a fucking night. My leg's killing me. My bike's gone. They're probably gonna ask me to leave Radix. I doubt that. They need people like you. People who cruise around in fucking death machines. People who call cars fucking death machines. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Look, where I'm going, I don't want them to see me get out of your car. So you dress me up for like corner of Guadalupe and Centers, I'll walk the rest of the way. On that leg? It's just a scrape. I'm fine. I guess. Here you go. Thanks. Th listen, thanks for not kicking me out of your car. I appreciate it. But, like, what you saw? <laughs> no worries, I'll keep it quiet. Thanks. Shit. Wait. I didn't catch your name. Lena. Cool. Thanks, Lena. I'm Azul. <laughs> I said that, right? You did. And you are very welcome. Azul stepped out of the car, stumbling a bit, like he couldn't put too much weight on their knee. Really should have gotten to a hospital. Not so much as look back, though, they shook it off and limped into the alley. Ow! Neat! It was well after midnight, and I had beat my ride quota. Most nights they call it quits about now, for me push on for one last ride. But I had it in me. But until I hear from Savvy, I had nowhere to go. When was she going to text me back? Man, if this is supposed to be a phone... Like, I hope this actually does holograph... Or hologram... Hey, I'm feeling good, though. Oh! That was the anarchist guy, I think. Maybe? Was it? I don't even know. You. If I start to need prime pay packs, pay more to ride with only the best. Damn you! Damn, damn, damn! Shit. I feel real shit about this. Wait, who are you though? Wait, but what is that? What is this? Nourish me all ye in pain. I gather my strength once again. The Book of Men. Wait, what? Unfortunately, I'm going to have no energy in my car. But damn. I need this. I am in love with this game already. When I arrive, Klaus was waiting for me. Uh, give me a blank nod. Extinguish this cigarette on a streetlight. Very cool. Ooh, I'm positive. Good evening. Hello. Oh, God, prep boys. Oh, God, German accent. Oh, uh, just keep track of how many different accents are here tonight. I hadn't heard German in ages. Uh, are those German accents I hear and definitely can't pronounce? I don't even want to say. Uh, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do a German accent, though. They weren't talking. Were they waiting for me to say something? Are you new to Los Ojos? Me too. I'm from Cactus Flats. New Los Ojos, you definitely don't, won't know Cactus Flats. What's that saying? Not a bad place to visit, not a good place to stay. But maybe I'll end up back there. 
No. You're a robot, yes? Uh, what? You must tell us if you're a I, I can't do it! You, uh, uh, uh. Why do you think I'm a robot? They think I'm a robot? Well, we understand American tax companies are putting in, what is the word? Robot drivers? Yes. Ro yes, robot drivers. Uh, they still do not drive car. Oh no, it's for appearances. I, I, I don't know, I don't know, German accent? Uh, more friendly, it has personality, yes, and more exciting. Self-driving cars are much more efficient, but cannot carry out a conversation with a, a car. Well, you could with the car's computer, but it would be a disembodied voice. No good. Sterile and unfriendly. Uh, yes, we hear companies are putting robots in the taxis. A pilot program. Do we understand correctly? Kind of a cool idea, I guess. So my friend and I are having this discussion. We think you are one of those robots. Do I act like a robot to you? Very much so. Oh god. We thought we were new to Lo Ho Hos, so told us the topic all about city. You initiate a helpful informative conversation based on available data. You demonstrate basic pattern recognition. I guess that's true. If I was a robot, you think I'd tell you? Just kidding. I'm actually a human, guys. <laughs> Seriously? Is that supposed to be matter? You claim to be human. Then you will not object to proving it. The Higgs Gary. Yes, the Higgs Gary is a verbal test. Simply a few questions. Revealing questions. Uh, what is Higgs Gary? Are you are you quite serious? It's the foremost assessment tool to distinguish between artificial and human intelligence. No artificial intelligence has ever passed the Higgs Gary. Higgs Gary tests humanity, not knowledge. Roman intelligence can recite all of human knowledge. But that does not mean it is human. Human is messy, emotional, complicated, and beautiful. A robot is optimized and efficient. It is what a human can never be. No. Let us begin. Sure, why not? I feel like this is going to be kind of fun. Your aunt makes a racist comment at your birthday party. Whoa! Is that a question? Please answer the question. Your aunt makes a racist comment at your birthday party. How racist? Find the remark of significance. Just answer the question, please. Your aunt makes a... Sure! I'd be mortified. <laughs> you meet your favorite artist. You tell him his earlier work is much better than what he produces now. Why did you do that? Um... I wouldn't do that. But you have. Why? It's good to be honest? A homeless man picks your pocket. You call the police. You have a young son. He has to see your breasts. Jesus, guys. Um... I would politely but firmly explain the concept of boundaries? The 
pet pig eats your friend's best dress. She wants to watch you discipline it. Uh... She can back off. It's my pig. After intercourse, your husband tells you he would kill a man to protect you. He tells you that he has already killed a dog. He tells you that he killed the dog three hours ago. He tells you that you knew this dog. Uh... Oh, God. This is too weird. Please answer the question. I would go and stay with friends for a few days? Our relationship seems pretty bizarre. The best friend has an affair with your son. What? That's you to pay for the abortion? Okay, one. Is that the same son who wanted to grab my boob? It doesn't affect the test. Just answer the question, please. Uh, I don't know if I'd agree to that, but I'd try. I mean, honestly, uh, listen, in real life, I'd say, hell no, what the hell? Well, I mean, I, mm, but he's my son, shoot. My father sends you worms in a, what? <laughs> I'd call dad and ask if he was okay. Well, that's the end of the test. Tell me I'm not a robot! And perfect timing, too. We arrived at a club in Liberty Heights. The Haunt. It was hard to say whether the deck, the decor was ghost or... So, how'd I do? Just be like, robot. Definitely robot. Is that important? We really have to go. Aww. Yes, it's important. What do you think? To be honest, I'm finding it quite hard to be certain. Oh my god. Yes, me as well. Where have I gone in my life that people weren't even sure whether I was human? Human! I'm human! She's an incredible robot. Or a below average human. Yes, but it's impossible to be sure. We should her on the side of being a robot. Agreed. Your test is absurd. Jeez. Did I actually be a robot? I really know for sure that I wasn't? Um... Of course I did. That was so silly. You have to pay the fare even though we've determined that you're a robot. Um... Yes! Yes! doesn't deny being a robot! Yes, I noticed that as well. There's a line for the hawk searching right around the block. Thousand and Mark disappeared to join it. I want to get those guys! Never get what makes people wait in line that long for drinks that bad. But what do I know? I'm just a robot. I, I want to go back with those guys. I want to know the results of the test. Hey, a marvel of modern engineer! God dang it, you! Yeah, I get it. Uh, I got the shmoney though. Next ride should be savvy. So sorry. Oh God, what's going on? It, huh? God, you're scaring me now! Lena, fast as you can. Fuck! Motherfucking piece of shit. No, send it. Send it. Send that shit. Oh, God. 
do do I need to actually have money or gas for that? Please tell me I don't have to have gas for that. Please, 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 for the love of God, don't tell me I need energy for this. Oh, thank God. Low speedy thing. I still wasn't fast enough. This was definitely it. Location of Savvy's SOS pin. Oh. It's an empty lot between some abandoned storefronts. You can only see as far as my headlights. There's no trace of her. Oh, God. No text as fast as you can, either. Did I actually say it? Um, call out her name. Since the text failed, call out her name. There was no answer. Oh, no. I missed her. I turned to get faster. Getting in the car right now. Laughing off for a crazy night. It was so dark. I could see the broken bottles all over the ground. It wasn't a good place for anyone to wait around at night. Especially alone. Especially someone like Savvy. Then, I saw it. Face down on the curb, her phone. I grabbed it, and it chill ran up my arm. It was shattered right in the center of the hollow screen. Now totally dark and cold. It looked like it had been stepped on. There's a sticker on the back. A punk-looking symbol of a wasp inside a bicycle gear. I sketched it in my journal app and stashed her phone in my glove box. Why? This is swing the radio silence. What happened to her? I grabbed it from her. Someone who didn't want her texting me. Who would do that? If you know her at all. If I know her at all. Wait, no, it says if you know her at all, you know Savvy's not someone to. Uh, my field grid wasn't. went hard red. It seemed about right. I wonder what Savvy's field grid looked like right now. What was she feeling? What was she thinking? All I could imagine was not comforting. Try to push back my thoughts and focus on what I can do right now. Oh god, our friend might be missing! Where's Mario? I remember Azul told me about Radix. Cops. Uh, my body felt crazy. Like I was buzzing with nerves, but at the same time, I could barely keep a thought in my head. I had nowhere to go. No one to talk things out with. Hey, pick up for <laughs> Neo Cab! Oh god. All I could do was try and get some sleep. An option was cash or to find a cheap little hell or a spare room somewhere. Anywhere but Cap or Castle. If I could, if I could afford it. Closed out my Neo app shift, cap shift. At least it has hit my quota for. Oh no, no! Full game is available soon on Steam. Wishlist now. Oh no! Dang, it's 2020, 2051. Leads to Savvy's disappearance. You'll begin night two of Neo Cab on search for answers. You'll have to try and earn enough money for a place to stay, manage your star rating, and keep a close eye on your field grid to make it to the end of the story. Stay on the road. Stay on her search. Stay human. Good lord! I am not a robot! I am not a robot! I guarantee it. I swears it. I swears it on me, mum! But, uh... Either way, my god, that was a great demo. That was a great... That was an amazing demo for this game, I have to admit. So, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe down below. I hope to see you guys with more Neocab. But the problem is that I'm going to have to make all these choices again and uh, pick up Crazy Biker Man again. Oh, ain't that going to be fun? We'll see you next time. More Steam One-Shots. Hopefully more Neocab. Peace.